Now one might ask, what type of tools do we need for this install? And one would answer, your bare hands from God himself. <laughs> the ultimate impact driver, Jesus. All right, honey. What's going on? I'm just getting IG content, let me be. What are we doing? We out here. Representing? We out here. We're representing the Jeep life. That's right. This Garage is, couple. This is Jeep life, guys. We are taking a break from the LJ content, and today we are modifying Ollie's JKU with one of, probably one of the much needed mods for this Jeep. Why don't you guys mash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and stay tuned for the show. Mash it up. You said mash that button. You meant smash. Mash, mash, mash it in there. Today we are installing leather seat covers by Custom Interiors. We have never done an upgrade like this before, so I cannot wait to upgrade these seats. Now we went with the black with red trim, just so it matches the Jeep. I mean, it's been such a long time since we've modded this Jeep, it just doesn't feel right to me. Okay, that's kind of rude. It just doesn't feel right. I gave you the opportunity to work on the other ones. Back to mine. And in case you've missed it, there are the other ones right there. We got the white TJ, we got the LJ, and we got my Rubicon. Yours, huh? None of those are yours. Fantastic. Three stick shifts, one automatic, all different gear ratios. <laughs> what, Greg? 410, 373, 911 Carrera, GTS, R Spec, Honda Civic. So why don't you go ahead and unbox using our Milwaukee cutter gear. You want to be very gentle, gentle. You don't want to tear open those seats, no. so go ahead and get her done. You get her done. Now one might ask, what type of tools do we need for this install? And one would answer, your bare hands from God himself. <laughs> the ultimate impact driver, Jesus. All right, honey. You have been wanting a leather interior for such a long time. Such a long time. Now, these are supposed to be extremely comfortable and weatherproof, which is fantastic if you off-road without your doors or go anywhere without your doors. We've had some instances where we've had the top off and doors open and the whole inside gets flooded. So this will protect those seats. What's going on? What's, what's happening? What? I have a song stuck in my head. Which one? Gloves. You see us on the floor. You act real nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Back to the install. Wow. Awesome, Greg. So this kit is for you if you want to renovate the interior of your Jeep. We've done a lot of different mods on the inside of this JK from those LED vents. All sorts of other things, the, the painted grab handles, subwoofer. subwoofer, we have all sorts of mods, so this is going to complement it really nicely. Now we also, we don't want to go spend and shell out thousands and thousands of dollars for a replacement seat cover, so that's why we, all, we went with this custom interior. Now if all is said and done, it's supposed to fit like OEM, so why don't we go ahead and slap them on. <laughs> I think this is a helmet. We got a couple helmets. Just kidding. Don't damage it. Let's see if we can find any instructions. Let's put the helmets away. These are for the rear. Five helmets. Dude, sick. They look really nice. Sick. Rear bench. I honestly don't think you need instructions. It looks like it's just a latch on the back that goes from underneath. So we probably don't have to remove the seats. No. Look Why don't we start from the rear and work our way to the front? There are a lot of parts, but it looks like everything slides on and clips on. There are no instructions with the kit, so hopefully this video helps you make that decision and install these things. Let's start with the rears. You wanna start with the helmets? The very first thing you're gonna do is just remove all of those headrests. There's two buttons, one on each of those posts. 
There's one right here on the inside and there's one right over there. Go ahead and click this button down and then you could hit this one to remove the whole thing. Now let's do that times four. The rear ones stay in place because in our model that they are the ones that actually fold back so that you could drop the seats all the way down. I don't actually think you have to remove those. Why don't we go ahead and slide the covers on these seats. Let's do it. We're going to start with the bases of the seats. Now the bases for the driver and the passenger front seats are very similar but they're mirror images. You want the part with this cutout here to go on the driver's side if it's on the left because that's the knob that adjusts the seat height. So why don't we go ahead and pop this bad boy on. Essentially there's a bunch of clips on the bottom that are just going to clip into each other and we're in business. Alright, let's get it done. We're going to push these clips back down through this rear. Going to tuck everything. Because we have this subwoofer here, space is a little bit more limited, but we will get it done, no problem. I'm already liking this color accent. It looks pretty good in here. Now Greg's gonna go from the back and fish those anchors through. So even with the subwoofer, we were able to fish the the cables, the plugs. <laughs> we certainly were. We're able to fish the hooks through. We're just gonna go ahead and do the passenger base as well because we just got pretty good at it. Just takes a little shimming and it does help to have a second person, one in the front, one in the back. Especially if they have small hands. How about I just push the nickel out? <laughs> <laughs> this is Aline's car for you. Alrighty, okay, let's go ahead and hook on the base of the passenger seat and then we'll get to the back. So on this side, the belt almost wants to come out from where this, the inner part of the strap is. So we're going to undo the belt and bring it around this way so that we could bring the strap around back. You're going to need a T40 to do it. It's one bolt. So the seatbelt's been fixed, we're going to go ahead and shimmy it on in. Just like the other side, we're going to do the bottom diagonal strap first. So now that we got both seat bottoms, all did you get the footage of that? Oh yeah. We're going to go ahead and put the seat backs. Now there's a zipper, I believe the zipper faces towards the inside, so both the passenger driver the zipper should be pointing towards one another. It has a seat back and in fact, this only has the clips, the two clips. I think these are going to pass through the same exact place that you passed the previous clips from. Let's see if we can get it done. Now don't panic if everything's kind of snug, you guys. It's really nice that the leather is snug so it doesn't loosen up over time. So just give it a little tug and it shall fit. Hey, <laughs> it looks like I'm ready for racing. Whoa. He's like, this girl's crazy. She's crazy. Ah. So now is what is arguably the most, okay, challenging part, but I guess Greg did it without even a flathead. All right, thank you, Greg. So you can use a flathead if you have a hard time with um, prying these pieces out, but just be gentle so you don't tear it. Greg was just able to push it through. Good job, Greg. All righty, on to the headrest. So we're just gonna try to put it on. If it doesn't fit like that, I think it's backwards. So now we'll try again. <laughs> This is a trial and error kind of situation. And do the Velcro last. Now go clip it on. I saw this on Pit My Ride. What? They basically, you know, hit it so it conforms with that. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, Let's super sweet. Let's pop it on. On Pit My Ride. <laughs> I, I don't think we're allowed to see that on a family friendly show. Okay. So let's tilt the seat back to give yourself as much clearance as possible. Let me go from the other side, guys. And there you go. Wow. I love these seats. Okay, I'm coming from your side. I gotta show them. Take a look. Wow, I actually love the color. That looks fantastic. 
All right, on to the passenger side. Let's wrap this front up and move on to the back. It is crazy how fitted these are. They look so good. They look original. I love, I love a good product. I love value when I get bang for my buck. And this is one of those products, 100%. Greg is a bang for your buck kind of gal, man. Gal? Ips. Whoops. This sounded right. <laughs> All right, on to the headrest. Greg, I think I have a solution to your problem right now. Talk to me. Some WD-40, huh? Always a good idea, huh? <laughs> or elbow grease. This is backwards. It's backwards. <laughs> right? Is it? It is. It is. It is? It is. There we go. Does that look better? Yes. My favorite part, Velcro time. All right, let's go slip it on. All righty. See, everything works as it should. Police officers, if you're watching, thank you for your service. <laughs> There's two pieces for the base. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. This is the same strategy. You got a bunch of those clips, and then you got the strap that goes around. Along with your anchors. So why don't we drop that seat down, your side one, all the way down. Perfect. Put this guy. Go ahead and maneuver around your seatbelt latches. You're gonna thread the latch from underneath. Try to get above the rail just to give yourself more clearance if you're moving the seat. <laughs> Greg's on the other side, clipping it in. Lots of awkward positions here, for sure. <laughs> hook. Go ahead and hook it through. Bottom is all buckled and latched. Let's go ahead and do the backing. What do we have to do this? Oh, we're doing all the bottoms at the same time, huh? Honestly, rinse and repeat. Go ahead and anchor it down, thread the buckle through, and then go ahead and hook from underneath. Anchoring through. The seats back here look amazing, and it feels like there's a little cushion over here just to give you a little extra comfort if you are in that back seat. Down to the last couple pieces here. This is for the back. It is a single piece going all the way through. I uh, wonder how will this belt <laughs> situation. Perhaps. Hmm. That's gonna. Let me. Let's think about that and reconvene. We're here. We're out here dodging bullets left and right here, guys. I'm guessing that goes through there. Yeah. These are gonna go like that. We're gonna slide this. Do through. a little some of that. A little some of this action. Oh. So our middle section actually doesn't have a headrest, but there's holes for a headrest. I'm gonna tuck in the anchors. go from the back to gain a little more access to the velcro pieces. Oh, your trunk is huge. Thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment. So I actually just velcro straight down to the back of the seat, which is pretty nice. Well, not if you're looking at the car from the back. Are you looking from the back or the front, boss? I should have counted all the Velcros first. Wow. 
That looks insane. The only thing left are these rear head rests. And that's it. And then just go ahead and slip on the headrest cover. And then Velcro when you're done. So just a quick pro tip. The side with that seam should be facing the rear. That'll make it a lot easier for you when you're trying to figure it out. And then you're able to just slide it straight down like a glove. Now that Velcro piece is not all that necessary, but just because we have it, we'll use it. Now the best part about these seats is that they're heated, ventilated, and massaging. <laughs> Check these seats what the out. Heck was that? I know that was weird. That was weird. That looks insane, you guys. The install was super easy. You only needed simple hand tools, which were your hands. It took about 20 minutes, and look at the quality. It's super snug. It's not gonna loosen over time. The material is very amazing. Wow, are you happy? I'm very happy. It's super comfy, you guys. It looks amazing. It's a great accent, great upgrade to your Jeep. If you're interested in checking these out, we will drop a link in the description below. Thank you for coming along for the ride, and we'll... See you later. And we'll keep you updated, too, just in case. We'll let you know how they hold up. But upon first sitting, they're actually a lot more comfortable than the cloth. And they look Adios, guys. <laughs>